one of the most heavily used transaction or most commonly used transaction is the transaction VL06 which allows you to select deliveries that are based on a particular status the advantage of this is that or what peop the way people use it is that they will select all the deliveries that have a particular status they will process those deliveries one by one get it out of their queue and then someone else would then run the delivery they select the deliveries in different statuses and select and process those so all through the day for example you would do this so for example you would create the delivery and then you would run the transaction and say show me all the deliveries that need to be picked and I pick one I do the confirmation here and then I will say show me everything that needs to be packed I do the packing list and then I run the program again after the packing list and say show me everything that needs to be goods issued and I would then process the document so let's have a look at the transaction in SAP it's under logistics, logistics execution outbound processing and it's goods issue for outbound delivery and it's under list and logs and the transaction is VL06 O for outbound you can see here the statuses uh, for picking, for confirmation, for loading, for goods issue uh, for transportation planning for example but let's have a look at the goods issue one and here is the selection Yeah. now you can put in the shipping point or for example but let's expand the selection and you can see here the delivery status which is in grey uh, says select everything uh, that is that is in that particular status so the status field here that's in grayed out automatically ensures that you select everything that's been picked uh, and it's ready to be goods issued so now obviously when you run it uh, you would if I scroll up it also has the planned goods movement date automatically populated you can also put the shipping point or the planning point or however you want it if I click on picking for example you have the picking dates here and if I expand the selection button here if I scroll down you can see here the status the overall picking status is set to A and the total goods movement status is not set to C so again it's only ensuring that it select everything that's uh, being picked now if we look at the process here again I want to iterate how it actually works it's like a conveyor belt yeah so each person is is like an operator on on this com on this on this line on the conveyor belt and each operator only does one thing right let's say one operator does picking one operator does packing one operated operated as goods issue so as the conveyor belt moves it first so the operator one operator would say show me all the deliveries that need to be picked so he runs the transaction selects the first delivery that needs to be picked right he goes away does the picking right puts the picking in the puts the picked materials in the packing station updates a delivery document and then refreshes it shows him the next delivery because once you update the delivery it's now not relevant for picking for the first operator the delivery now doesn't exist in his list it doesn't exist in his queue then if we go to the second operator he will keep on refreshing and he'll say show me everything that needs to be packed once the operator has finished the picking it's now ready for packing the next operator will see that the delivery is now in his queue so as a conveyor belt approach the delivery has moved from the picking person to the packing person the packing person will then pack the materials and everything else he'll update the document again yeah and now it's vanished from his queue because the statuses have changed and the person who does the goods issue when he does his refresh on the VL10 6 transaction he will see that this document is now ready for goods issue yeah, so he'll go in, he'll pick up that delivery, he does the goods issue, he updates that delivery, he does a refresh, and that document, because the status has changed, it's not ready for goods issue anymore, it has been goods issued, it's that document then is released or moved away from its queue. And 
that means that the delivery has been processed it's out the door so you can see that by using the VL06 O transaction you can then it's like a um, how would you say it it's a it's it's a process flow and it's a, it's a work list yeah and every time you update it the materials move away from your work list and that's really how uh, we should use that transaction in, in, in a warehouse setting. Use it as a work list, you just keep on processing through all of the deliveries.